my, my workout here at home, my quarter force workout. Absolutely loved it. Feel great. It's a floppy mess. I'm sitting here, I just drank my pre-workout drink, drank my hydrate um, right here, my Beachbody performance line. Um, finished that, I can't wait for my recovery. But this is what I wanna share with you guys today. Super important. It's about finding the time to take care of your health. So what do I mean by that? So many of you know, and some of you don't know, you just started following me that I'm married to my wife. We have three little girls, ages 11, eight, and five. All three of my girls are in sports activities. One's in softball, one's in soccer, one's in ice hockey. And in the meantime, I still work and I still find the time to get my workouts in six days a week. Now let me explain what today was. So today, my alarm went off at 5.45 this morning on Sunday, my day off, because my daughter had ice hockey practice from seven to nine today. My daughter had ice hockey practice from seven to 9 a.m., went to ice hockey practice, came home. We promised our girls that in fact we would go apple picking today because this is the day, this is the only weekend we, it can make it work, so we wanted to do some family time. So after going to ice hockey from 7 to 9 a.m., and my alarm going off at 5.45, we went apple picking. We got home from apple picking by about one o'clock. Now this is the wrench, this is the thing. We are going through an addition on our home, but putting an addition on our house for our kitchen. Demolition, they did all the work outside, it's done. Demolition starts on Tuesday and I'm going back to work tomorrow. So all afternoon, my wife and I had to empty out our kitchen. And for those of you that have kids, the amount of sippy cups, plastic plates, and a ton of other crap that you accumulate on top of your own crap, trying to empty out a pantry, closets, laundry room, kitchen in entirety, we filled up a dumpster. We've been doing this for a couple of days, trying to clear out under the gun, and I was exhausted. Still have to eat dinner. My girls still need baths. I still got to type up my newsletter for all of my coaches and all the people that I'm helping that I'm sending out tomorrow. Got a plan for team calls tomorrow night. And I still knew that I had all this to do and I didn't have my workout in yet. But this is the thing. Is your health worth it to you? Is it worth it for you? Is it worth it for your family and kids that you're the healthiest version you can be? Because if you're not in the best shape or the healthiest version you can be as a mom or dad, you're only hurting yourself and your family and you're not gonna be able to be there to see your kids grow up so you can live a long, healthy, happy and fulfilling life. Guys, I'm not, I'm not playing around with this because I know parents right now, just look at your parents or your great grandparents and look at all the people that are suffering from hypertension or obesity or are diabetics or people that have certain types of cancer that are linked to obesity. There is no warm up in life, so today, it was not an option for me to get my workout in. It's not an option. Yes, my vehicle to work, get my workouts in at home, I'm blessed to be able to have beach body because the workouts kill me and I'm in the best shape of my life at 39 years old. Yes, I'm very grateful for beach body. That's my vehicle. But my drive each and every day is my kids, is my family, is you people, is the people I help each and every month, is my coaches, because I know every single day they're looking to me to show up every single day. It's not about me. It's bigger than me. And so many of you, the reason you're not working out and the reason why you're making excuses and the reason you're not taking care of it is because it's all about you. And when you finally realize that it's not about you and it's bigger than you, and there's people out there that need you to be the best version that's possible, you will get over your excuses and you will make the time to make it happen. It is so easy for me to skip my workout today. Up early, hockey, apple picking, going through my home edition, our house is in disarray. I ran an errand to Target an hour ago. I came downstairs to get my workout in, my kids need a bath. Seriously, what's your excuse? What's your excuse? You don't have time? You don't have time, it's not convenient? It's never gonna be convenient. It's never gonna be convenient. You either can let the circumstances around you control your life, or you can control the circumstances. We all have the same amount of time in a day. Get over it. It drives me crazy with the people that tell me, David, I don't have time. You do have time. And life doesn't always fire a warning shot. And don't wait for that warning shot for something to happen to you in life. And then you're scrambling trying to take care of your health because you had excuses month after month after month. Am I fired up about this? You bet I am because I literally 
feel so bad for the people out there that are suffering physically, mentally, and emotionally, and I know what health and fitness and exercise can do for them, and I want every single person in this world, in this day and age, to be the best version of themselves. I want people to have more in life. I want people to live a designed life. I want people to be the happiest person every single day for their family. It's not about you, it's bigger than you. Get over your excuses, find the time, map your schedule out for the week. Treat your workouts like doctor's appointments. Your people around you need you. And there are people out there that are looking up to you. Stop with your excuses and make it happen. So now I had about three minutes to do a message because I want to touch the lives each and every day as many people as possible. And I hope that I can impact some of you. And I hope that maybe there's people that you know I can impact. So share my video. But now I got to run upstairs. I'm going to eat my dinner, drink my recovery drink, get my three girls in a bath. And I have work to do so I can help more people, right? It's not about you guys. Think bigger than you. Look to your left and right. It's about your family. Be the best version of you. Create your masterpiece. Have a great night. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.